hello everyone um, <clears throat> so i'm just going to do a quick uh, screencast of uh, some of the changes that uh, we've been working on recently uh, so this is my first screencast so please bear with me um, i don't know how good i am uh, so the whole objective is uh, for the last uh, few months we've been working on this new version and the whole objective is to make uh, the system a lot simpler and and, and we've got great feedback from all our users and we just want to incorporate as much as the feedback as we can into the newer system. Uh, so what we have done is we've essentially broken down uh, the old uh, uh, the old system and uh, we're trying to rebuild a lot of the uh, core features from scratch. And uh, the system is going to be a lot different uh, from the current one and hopefully better. So I just want to give you a brief preview of what changes uh, you can expect. This is still a very early version, so uh, uh, the final may be uh, very different from from this one. So I'll just uh, quickly uh, um, take you through some of the f some of the changes. So uh, the, the I mean we haven't changed the home screen as you can see, and let me just take you to uh, the buying module and um, we're just trying experimenting a few things where you can see what uh, how, like how many orders you have and kind of stuff so I'll just uh, quickly take you to a purchase request now let me open an existing one uh, so as you can see this is a, a purchase request uh, transaction and um, uh, the form looks a lot different uh, from what is there in the current system so this is what we have in the current system and this is what it's going to be as you can see uh, there's, uh, there's a lot less uh, stuff happening over here uh, we've tried to clean up the UI. So first, probably the one of the first things we'll notice is that uh, like we have uh, totally new forms. What we're using is we're using a, 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 what is fast becoming a standard is uh, is a framework uh, published by Twitter and it's called Bootstrap and it's got all of these different components that uh, that that are very reusable. They work on different browsers. And uh, and you can do interesting stuff. It works on um, mobiles, tablets, and everything. So, so we're using more and more of Twitter Bootstrap now. And as you can see, all the forms are uh, different. We have one column right now. Uh, we want to make we we, we want to uh, shrink some of the space. But uh, as you can see, there is just one column. There are no longer column breaks. So column breaks have gone. Um, what we have also done is that we we reworked the sidebar. Uh, so all the actions that uh, you used to see here have, have have been shifted to here. So this is where all the actions go. So we, we, we get a lot of space here. What we realize is uh, uh, a lot of people are using comments. We use uh, comments internally a lot and, and, and they are kind of hidden right now because if you, if you see the screen, you don't see them. You have to scroll them to see or uh, see the comments. So what we've done is uh, we've given a lot more space to comments. So, so you can write, uh, uh, um, you can write uh, stuff and uh, right. So, um, so, so they're a lot more visible. Uh, another thing is we've done is we've also taken assignment uh, to to the next level and like we we made assignment a very core part of um, the system. So you just want to assign it to somebody just uh, assign it and you can get a nice green uh, bar showing uh, who the transaction is assigned to so when you look at the form you quickly know who's working on it and uh, so uh, uh, stuff like that so uh, we use assignment a lot internally and i'm sure a lot of our customers also use and we just want to make it a bit simpler and uh, giving it a lot more space the other thing is is tags we see a lot of people using tags so so we so you can just add a tag here it's urgent and um, uh, you can just add whatever tags you uh, require and it and it's uh, kind of similar like again we've just taken the tags which are buried down here and uh, put it on the top so what so what we also want to do is we don't want to have too many different fields for status and stuff like that and we want we want to encourage use uh, using uh, tags uh, for this so that's uh, uh, so that's like a so that's where the form is. Uh, some changes in the forms. Um, um, what what we've also done is we we using new components. So we're using a new grid. 
so our earlier grid uh, used to be our own uh, homegrown grid that we had written it's probably three years uh, since i wrote this grid and <laughs> it's so complicated i haven't, I haven't uh, had the time to uh, re relook at it uh, apart from doing minor bug fixes so what you've used is you've used a third party widget called slick grid it's an open source component and it's it's great we're already using it in the new reports uh, it has a lot of nice features allows you to uh, resize uh, fields and all of that and uh, what you've also done is uh, if you resize a field the system kind of remembers it uh, and, and the next time you refresh it uh, it'll, it'll come in the same size uh, uh, it'll just uh, uh, so we've done some stuff like that uh, slick grid also has some nice uh, components like um, uh, you can uh, so let me just show, make this uh, editable so again when you add a row uh, so I'll just add a row and then you can like drag it and uh, move it around so it's much nicer so we've we've, uh, uh, we've let go of these up down buttons uh, so that's where we are uh, we also changed the rich text component. We, uh, earlier we were using uh, uh, a third party component called Tiny MCE, and it's, it's a very heavy component, takes a lot of time to load and just found this new uh, component again, uh, it's an open source component and uh, so, so we're going to use uh, this, uh, this tool for uh, rich text. Uh, it's very easy to use, you just uh, type in stuff here. Uh, and then uh, you can do uh, interesting stuff, right? So, so that so those are the new components uh, that we're going to use uh, for the system. Let's see this. Right. So it tells me this is mandatory, and if I have to delete something, I just edit it, and I just delete it. So what what we have lost here is that uh, we cannot edit uh, uh, we cannot edit data in the grid itself. Because uh, because we have all these special components like links and everything. So so what you have to do is when you select and you click again, then the field becomes editable. So that's uh, so that's uh, the new uh, grid and rich text uh, component that we have done. Uh, some other interesting uh, what you would have noticed I did earlier was that I switched uh, the document from submitted to draft, and this is the biggest feature. Uh, this is big feedback we get from our customers that. The entire cycle of save, submit, uh, cancel, amend is very annoying because uh, not only it forces you to uh, 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 cancel all the uh, different documents that are dependent on this one. So if you're in a sales order, then you have to cancel the invoices, delivery notes, etc. So, so we have uh, uh, trashed that entire system, and what we're going to do is we're going to have every document is going to have three stages and it's going to be draft. Uh, it could it could be any three stages. If it's a lead, it's uh, uh, working or lost or uh, one or whatever and it, uh, it could be every every transaction is going to have three stages and you can go back and forth so if you have uh, submitted something you can go back and make a draft and make changes and it is not the system is not going to force you to update all the uh, dependent transactions and uh, I think this is a big uh, feedback we've got that that's very annoying so so we kind of worked on it and uh, devised this new system and uh, and there'll be no uh, so so there and we've also changed the way we're going to version stuff. So there's so in the earlier system every version was a separate uh, document, but from from now you can just have uh, we're going to save every version of uh, of every record. So every time you save something, uh, it will save a history, and you can go back in history and uh, see all the changes that have been made uh, to any transaction. Uh, whether it's amended or submitted or whatever so so we're going to have a very uh, new history uh, system uh, inside uh, inside uh, the product um, so so this is uh, interesting so I can just submit it and I can convert it back if I submit it becomes read only uh, the components uh, it's similar and I can cancel it uh, there was some error so it did not uh, allow me to cancel so that's where we are and um, so that's that's the new stages and we made some uh, other uh, changes I want to show is uh, we made um, changes to uh, the form so, so there's one nice feature we made which I think will again uh, motivate a lot of people to use the newer version is that that you can uh, you can make, make uh, changes inside a report so if I have a purchase request um, 
ideally the three stages for a purchase request uh, should be draft uh, submitted and uh, sin uh, not required say if somebody uh, doesn't want that the purchase request is not approved so what we could just go is we could just uh, do a report so let me just change these stages so like you all know we have uh, doc types to make all these kind of changes and we have just added a new column to a doc type which is called uh, uh, doc status labels and I'm just going to uh, so I'm just going to pick up the purchase request so I have not set any labels if I have not set labels then it's just going to show me draft submitted and cancelled but uh, if I want to add a new label so, so I'm in a report and I can just uh, go in and uh, double click here and it will show up the field and I can just edit this in line from the report so I can just uh, uh, make this uh, uh, draft approved So I just updated here. It gets updated in the in the in the record itself, and then and then when you refresh it, uh, uh, it's going to show up with the new label. So so the transaction is either draft approved or not approved. And obviously, you are going to all this is going to be permission based. So you can set who who gets the right to submit and uh, cancel and all of that. So uh, not submit and cancel now, but who 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 gets what right to do. Uh, to set the different states so that's so uh, that's the new report builder and uh, the new feature in report builder where you can just go inside a report and edit anything i think that's a, a very useful thing we uh, for us also and I, i'm sure uh, it's going to be a great motivator for people um, quickly i just want to also show you we have uh, created a new uh, calendar component and this uh, calendar we've used another uh, third party widget called uh, full calendar so calendar was again a home uh, homegrown widget we have decided to scrap and a lot of nice things in this calendar you can just uh, define an event here you can extend the time you can drag it around so this is a great calendar tool and though it's still work in progress here uh, i think uh, it's going to be a great tool uh, for people to manage their calendar so so that's about it uh, uh, thanks for, uh, for Thanks for taking the time to look at this and look forward to your feedback uh, on this one. Thanks.